What's going on, everybody? Sean Pierce Johnson here with this week's edition of Stompbox Saturday. And on the Stompin' Block today, we have the Compressor compressor from Orange Amplifiers, or Orange Pedals, I guess I could say. If you've been watching my channel for any length of time, whether it's one video or hundreds of videos, you know my affinity for Orange Amplifiers and my deep-seated love for my beloved Rocker Verb 100. Well... Now Orange is making pedals, and uh, I'm very excited about that and something that I hope they continue to build and build upon in the years to come. Because quite frankly, uh, as my good friend Henning Polly mentioned in his recent Orange unboxing video, I swear by my oranges, and I really do. They are the amp that gives me my musical voice. So to have them making pedals that can further my musical voice, I am all for and I think a compressor is a great addition to the line. And quite frankly, this is a really good one that clocks in and around a price range that most people can afford, which is very cool. And it's probably got the best control set of a compressor pedal out there today. So let's go ahead and take a look at the controls and see what we're working with. Five knobs, and they're the exact knobs that I would want to see on a compressor pedal volume for your overall output volume, squash, which is going to set your compression ratio, and attack and release knob, which is something that you don't see on many compressor pedals these days. Very good touch. And the chime knob, which allows you to boost or cut a set high frequency, which adds just a little bit of sparkle or can take some of that away. It really works well depending on the type of guitar that you use. I think one of the cool things is also this little steel roller bar right here so that, you know, you're kicking a pedal with your size 12 or 13 foot. You're not going to mess with your settings. They're going to stay well protected. Now, one little hallmark feature that I think is very cool is that the LED changes color when you smack the compressor's front end really hard. So, like such. It starts out blue, changes to red. I just think that little visual cue is something really cool. Now, I could go ahead and turn the knobs and show you what they can do, but I think the best way to do that is to show you some of the settings that I've come up with and that I find most useful on the Kong Presser. So, here we go. The settings that I was playing with at the top of the video are the way that I like to set it. Now, when I go for a compression sound, I like something that's going to even out my dynamics to where it almost feels like when you're playing strummed chords, you're essentially playing an acoustic guitar. I know that idea might seem kind of weird to some of you out there, but that's the closest approximation that I can give you. At a certain point, an acoustic guitar just doesn't get any louder, and that's exactly what I go for here. So let's check out the sound without the compressor, and then we'll kick it on. I'm using the volume to get just a little bit more boost out of it, but with the squash doing the compression and reining things in, I'm not hitting the front end hard like you would with a typical boost pedal. It's just taking everything I play, bringing it all down so it stays in a certain range, and you'll really notice it when I go to play some arpeggiated patterns after strumming chords. <laughs>
And that's the way I like to use it. I add a little bit in chime in there so I can, you know, counteract my dark Les Paul with a dark sounding amplifier. Just give it a nice little gloss on the top end. Here are some settings that are good for funk rhythm playing and sometimes some funk lead playing. You got your classic squash compression and we're adding in all the highs that we can to turn this Les Paul into something closer to a single coil guitar. It's that fast attack chicka chicka sound all night long. <laughs> are what I like to use on top of a dirty sound. We're only adding a little bit of the chime so that we get a little bit more articulation, but we're just trying to make sure that the riffs and the chords stay nice and even. <laughs> So for this last setting, we're going full squash here. We are just compressing this signal like nobody's business. Why? Because we want sustain. We want something that's going to carry out, and that's exactly what I like this setting for. I'll play it first without, and then we'll kick it on. Did you listen? Did you hear the sustain? You could go away and have a bite and then ah, still be hearing that one. And there you have it, my friends. That is the Kong Presser Compressor from Orange Amplifier's new pedal line. It's my favorite amp company, Making Pedals. I don't think I can give it any more of an endorsement than that. It's a really great compressor that looks awesome and has features that many compressor pedals at its price range don't necessarily have big plus for it. It's a little big for my liking. You know, I want something a little bit more pedal board friendly, but I think it sounds awesome and I couldn't be happier. But I want to know what you guys thought of the Kong Presser. Leave me a comment below with your thoughts and hey, when you see it, click the subscribe button so you don't miss the next episode of Stompbox Saturday. And until then, my friends, I'm Sean Pierce Johnson and I wish you all great tone and happy stomping. Cheers. Cheers.